Here is an EO Alive LeGrand story. You are not going to want to miss this. Get your tickets now because the 10th annual Eastern Oregon Film Festival kicks off this Thursday, October 24th. We spoke with festival director Chris Jennings about the event. The Eastern Oregon Film Festival is like, it's, this is its 10th year. So it's been around for a while. Uh, it began 10 years ago as kind of a pop-up uh, screening, you know, party uh, up above the old ale house. And from that we found there was a, a really good and active audience that was eager to digest independent cinema and interface with filmmakers. So uh, a group got together, um, Ian Clark, who's our programming director, um, myself, Mike Serber, Ben Morgan, uh, got together and created the nonprofit uh, 501c3 uh, back in 2009 or 10, um, and officially became the, the nonprofit that we are. Since then, we've grown in audience, we've grown in filmmakers coming to Le Grand, we've grown in um, partnerships with the industry in Oregon, uh, partnerships in tourism, um, and it's all just been a very, really neat, organic, slow growth. Um, because we can't serve a ton of people. You know, we don't have the theater capacities. We don't have the hotel capacities. We're not going to immediately become a, a you know, South by Southwest or a Sundance type of event. Um, the slow, kind of incubated nurturing of the community with the filmmakers has, has been an amazing piece of it, and I think has really set us apart from other festivals. So this year's event has uh, an amazing lineup of programming. So uh, through our submission process, we get submissions from all over the world. They show up, we screen them with our members. Um, our program director looks at those. We build a program out of that. And then we also uh, do some curatorial stuff. So we're looking at other groups and stuff um, either that we've worked with in the past or uh, films coming out of some of these other higher end festivals and we work to, to, to encourage them to come. So that way, you know, we've got a really boiled down, positive program that we know our audience is going to enjoy. This year, we, we were, I mean, we have more visiting filmmakers than we've ever had. So we're really excited about that. Um, I think there's, you know, 25, you know, guests coming related to films this year. And they're coming down from, you know, Canada, they're coming from New York, they're flying, you know, getting up here from LA. You know, so we're seeing a lot of great people just coming in from all directions to land in the Grand Ronde Valley and kind of exchange, you know, their film with our community and vice versa. They come from everywhere all the time, so every year's different. You know, we get submissions that can come in from international, uh, et cetera. So we're, we're happy to have the diverse kind of collection of filmmakers coming that represents all sorts of cultures too um, this year. So there's a lot of diversity in themes, a lot of diversity in um, formats. So we have a lot of documentaries this year, a lot of medium length films, which you don't quite see. They're not quite short. They're not quite long enough to be features. So we have a couple really interesting blocks of short films that anyone can kind of engage with and get a really array of, of film in one big sitting. One of the key uh, pieces of the festival too is the music component so for each year since its beginning we've had after parties every night and have reached out to bring in um, regional northwest touring musicians people that haven't been here um, and, and kind of grow the music scene along the way now this year we have uh, uh, a really great lineup of after parties opening night sons of guns who has some roots in the in the area um, but also keys up with people from seattle are coming down Nick Delfs is coming out. Um, Friday night is a, just a banging show. Uh, Methods Body out of Portland. Some amazing com uh, composers teaming up. Um, and then uh, Sun Blood Stories out of Boise that night. Are, you know, they're just going to you know, knock, knock the, the place down, which is awesome. Um, and Saturday night, we're really excited about Portland's Federale. So it's a seven-piece kind of string westerny band going to come in and, and do the big Saturday night after party for us. So this year, just like every other year, is a great evening event. You know, anybody can come down to those after parties. Um, there's lots of room to enjoy music. You know, if you're not able to get to movies in the day, you can come down to those parts. Um, your pass gets you into all of it, so you can you can check it all out. The film festival and the programming is one thing. You know, if you're a, a cinephile, you like movies, you're really into independent cinema, then it's perfectly aligned for you because you can go interact with filmmakers and go watch movies. So why should I, 
if I don't like the movies that much or I'm not into music, why should I participate? What makes the festival important to this region? Um, one, it's a, it's a growing cultural destination event, right? We've worked for 10 years to build, and as a community, we've invested community members hours and hours of time to nurture and grow something. So one, we should get behind it in terms of a, a potential engine for economic development in our region. So the more investiture we can get into growing our program, creating uh, uh, more uh, elaborate relationships with the industry and the Portland side of the state, you know, there's a lot of avenues that can be explored through this. So, you know, if you just economically development <laughs> in my, you know, is your mind, how do we, you know, cultural destination events, arts events, is a great way to invest. Like, spend some time donating, send people to it, because if you can grow it, it will have a amplifying effect on economics. Uh, so that's one piece, and I'm a big fan of building our downtown. So if you're a fan of our downtown, come downtown and celebrate. You know, you don't have to go to a movie. You can hang out in the beer garden or in the block the whole weekend long. We've got burn barrels. You know, building community is a very important piece, and we're just building it through this means. Um, it's a gateway for recognition of our valley. So our valley, our, our, our area is, you know, kind of in the internet world or in the uh, locations for movie world, it's unexplored terrain. There's been very little production, very little coverage of, you know, the four microclimates that exist within an hour of our place, right? And that is, that is beautiful. And I think us being able to usher in a, a team of really talented filmmakers and show them the beauty of our region without telling them to come here. They're inspired by the space. So, you know, one of the long form ideas is that those people come back, they make movies here, they tell stories, and that in itself will bring its own economic development, its own attention, its own stuff. So. I mean, bottom line is, you know, if you want a community to be a community and you want to get together and have, you know, fun being alive in a community, then come down and explore it because participation is going gonna, is gonna to make or break every one of our downtowns. Tonight, uh, online, you know, you can get online at eofilmfest.com and go to tickets and buy your pass. You know, we'll have those available at the festival pickup tomorrow at noon. Um, you can come down to HQ Depot Street block um, starting at noon tomorrow, which is Thursday the 24th, and there'll be an info booth there. So you can purchase some admit ones, you can pick up your pass if you've already bought it, your membership, all that stuff will be there for you. So you can get online and lock that pass in, or you can show up tomorrow and, and hope there's a pass left. Um, otherwise, there is, you, know, you, can, you can kind of buy your way into each screening. Look for these guys out and about town. They'll be down, you know, they've got a full uh, lineup and map and program and schedule. Um, so if you see one of these laying around at a copy shop, boom, then, uh, you know, take a read. It's got information about, you know, filmmakers, tells you what filmmakers are going to be in town, that type of stuff. And one other thing I just want to say is, you know, as a community, if we can, you know, welcome these guests coming in. I mean, there's 40 artists that live outside of our region that are coming to spend three days with us. So let's be, let's be cool hosts, right? So, I don't know, come, come join the film festival. We're a lot of fun, a lot of stuff to digest, a lot of dancing and partying to have afterwards to process it all. Thank you, Eastern Oregon Alive, for letting us put this piece together. Check out their page on Facebook, like it, and look for more local content.